Hello everyone, this is Amir Mohammed Shahsavarani from IO Framework team. We've been through the course of IO tutorials for ASP.NET Core version 8. As uh, you would remember, our IO resembles uh, ASP.NET Unix architecture, a sort of ready to use template for both making back end and front end for any sort of um, applications which is made by ASP.NET. You can read our documentation here and see our open source codes here and make downloads here in the site ioframework.com. Okay, let's back to our project. In this video, uh, in our series of video, we want to make uh, some commands for our newly made entities. As you uh, may remember, just notice that we shall make first entities in domain entities. As you can see, we have made in previous sessions in entities, we made a folder named to our new module. Uh, we wanted to make it a cafe, so we made a IUR cafe. We made some entity here, as you can see. Then we've uh, jumped to making the configuration file entities config. Next folder here. Uh, again, we made a module. Uh, you know, this is called vertical slicing. Okay. So in Auto Cafe for configuration file, we made this file as you can see just implementing and inheriting the barista here identity type configuration if you would remember uh, we've told you how to make the schema for our uh, SQL tables as you can see clicking here in schema consts okay uh, you can add uh, the schema here, schema name, just like this public const string, uh, there was accounting. Then we added Auto Cafe and we we put it here. Okay. So, and then here, if you have remembered, uh, for any type of entity, we shall implement domain entity, and uh, here we put the key, the key type if it is other than long because by default in IO framework every key for a key value of table uh, is set to long and we will go through it and I will show you how to implement this key in other issues okay hence first we make the entity second step is to make our a configuration file don't need everything here we can close it then going to service okay in service we're coming here in our service subfolder in service subfolder we come here into let's everything comes back that you can see entity services okay in entity services we make again the uh, vertical slicing we made our module here as, as you can see, we have two folders. Uh, one is contracts and the next is uh, services. In contracts, we will put everything that is called interface. As you can see, our interface for Ayua Cafe, uh, I barista service as we have made the file barista in module of Ayua Cafe and implementing I domain entity services then in, uh, inputting here our entity and as I told you because our key value type was int you can see here okay it was int int it's not long then uh, in our service we uh, write down just comma and int. Good. Okay. Control D. Everything is okay. Good. Then we go to services for our final step. 
making implementation of this newly made service then for each of our service domain entity service do not mix up it with our interface in interface i domain identity service and in service domain entity service which again we put here our entity comma and the key value here is int integer because if you do remember our key is other than long then implementing our service here so this was our procedure up to now in this session we want to continue our process continue our journey in our framework so that we can add up some commands namely here i think we'd better start with insert command and we would make it all together as you would remember all the steps here are so simple good first we can close everything Closing, closing, okay, everything shall be closed. Here we can close all the tabs, everything is clear now, okay. So, in order to uh, make any new command, first uh, we shall come here to vast application. In vast application, command layer, as you can see, we had three layers here, we spoke about them all. In commands, Okay, as you can see, uh, we need to come here, see the commands and see the uh, structure of any sort of file, then we make it. You see, we have accounting here, okay? In accounting, we can make all of our destination from some templates we would have here. You can see, uh, these are our templates and in a sort of vertical slicing as you can see commands commands for accounting all of these are for accounting and now we will um, get into our process of making new command for our IUR cafe uh, as of going through the milestones of vertical slicing first of all we put here in commands a new folder okay name it IUR cafe this is our first step as you can see in vertical slicing one issue is that we just go through the exact path uh, as you remember in previous seconds I've shown you that uh, these sort of levels vertical slicing you can see uh, in accounting, uh, the module template has already three entities. For these three entities, it had named uh, some folders, its own folders. We do it alike as well for our entity. It is named Barista. We make it here. Okay, you can see. One issue of notice is that, as you can see, uh, I think it would be better to add up some command here. You can see um, app user commands, identity commands, so that uh, we do not confuse and mix up everything together. So we make barista commands. Okay. In commands, we can make sort of folder for each of our commands here for example we want to make insert we can insert okay or maybe for example insert barista uh, just in order to understand everything better good so uh, we want to make everything go down step by step with slicing in the matter of vertical issues first for example like this insert as you can see we have two parts uh, insert and then uh, results first of all please do remember that 
all of our commands consist of at least two parts maybe several uh, more than three four or five uh, it depends on your business but uh, in each command itself we shall have several entities uh, we wanna make everything separated from each other so that no one would be confused first we shall make a model for our inputs from any given user this model uh, would be better made by a file type of class as we can say here for our barista insert barista clicking on it and make a new class okay with the name of like exact template we do have here insert barista okay command insert barista command make it capitalized camel case insert barista command okay it's a class just this and so simple so if you remember we just told you that uh, we shall see our templates to understand it better first of all make it public okay this is been public then we shall make our output here how to do it just see our templates you can see this is the output this output uh, however shall be either a sort of model or entity or uh, could be a type for example uh, long int etc okay uh, here just put base command as you can see just control c copy make it here so what do we want is int because our uh, output from this input uh, has the key type of int as you would remember okay make it int but please uh, notice that uh, this maybe could be model as you can see here in our uh, identity commands I think if I do remember it well in our logging if uh, yeah you can see uh, we have the login command our output from base command is again a model login response which makes our response this is our output everything is dependent to our business okay let's get back here and we don't need this we can close them all to proceed with all of our work here so in our command of insert we shall have some inputs as uh, we told because uh, here's the input uh, if you do remember in our uh, sample entity we just had first name and last name we can copy them all from here in order to be clear just put it here in our newly input command so Ctrl N, Ctrl D for make everything here systematized. Uh, in order to understand that who created this entity, inserted it, we can make a user creator ID, if you may understand it and you may remember it, then make it public uh, long, as I told you, because everything in our base model is a um, type of uh, long we shall make these ids these base ids with long then we make it user creator id and make everything get and set for it um, uh, you know, this is my type of writing. I'm not sure if 
y id can be like this you know but uh, i do prefer it uh, it's some sort of psychological issue i think to make it here okay uh, no matter we have just um, obeyed the rules uh, some stuff here and please beware that uh, when using uh, these issues um, you know maybe we would be better do it this because i have just remembered that uh, it is taken from exact jwt token of the controller the root controller and uh, you know some of these names shall be uh, the same because of the problems of here okay okay another issue of concern is uh, we do need an enum file per each command for output situations uh, in our previous versions we had a sort of holistic files uh, for all the commands that was not okay by our customers and by their feedbacks we have made it uh, separated here and as you can see something like this result status we call it here as you can see this is the results uh, result status uh, that uh, you know error messages or types and logs which we have spoken about it in our uh, first videos of this uh, tutorial if you would remember so we make it like this exactly here for our barista we make a class we make a sort of class file okay just name it um, insert barista okay um result status okay so this is our class as i've told you just see here what we have done we made it public enum we change this to public enum okay then we go through okay all the types of our result as we've uh, told here, for example, we need this, the, the description and the results, for example. We just need uh, the description success, as you can see. So, just uh, do it so simple. Okay, we need, yes, we do import it. Then, recall, we had the first name. Hmm? And the last name, okay, all them all here together. As you can see, um, again, checking here, first name, last name, okay, everything here, control J, control V, so that we can use everything so simply. So, as you can see, we have made our enum, but please, this is the output of the enum file. Uh, we can make these numbers as you can see in our insert uh, here insert result uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 for example uh, this enum uh, gives back seven results but our enum gives back three results so we can make the numbers one and two uh, it means that if um, the result is zero, it is succeeded. If the result is one, our first name is empty. If the result uh, is two, the last name is empty. And so on for any sort of issue. Uh, please uh, notice that uh, you can do these numbers uh, orderly, um, why by another, so that your work would be cleaner than anyone else here okay save it next step here we have done so as you can see we have made the command okay just close everything here we've made the command uh, in order to say it again we made our command here in uh, 
two sessions first of uh, our sessions put the command in our vertical slice IO cafe and bearish the command two types uh, two classes insert and uh, our result the result is enum please remember then we are going to make its uh, command handler here okay in the command handler part as you can see uh, command handlers okay it has made again a vertical slicing of accounting we make our slice are you a cafe here good then going through this we shall make for each of our entities and vertical slicing of folders for example our new folder would be a large that barista oh making it capitalized barista okay command handlers hmm? and in this barista command handlers we can put all the command handlers of it. Uh, please beware that notice it that um, we shall make um, this type of vertical slicing for all of our entities uh, separate from each other. For example, if we do have clients, if we do have customers, if we do have providers, if we do have bartenders, huh? Everything, everything, waiters, waitress, uh, chef. All these shall come in a separate folder so that we can make our code clean and make a vertical slicing uh, so much um, easier to understand. So here we add a class. We can name it. Mm. Insert bar stop. Hmm? Insert, capitalize it, barista, insert barista command handler as such. Okay, everything is okay, naming it. Then we make it publicized, public, good, public class, insert barista command handler. Our next step is exactly copying and pasting from uh, again our template here. As you can see in the account handlers, for example, reset password. Uh, you can see that it makes uh, implementation uh, from base command handler first the input. Okay, as you can see, uh, the input of the command. And then the second one is the type of our output. What is our output? Again and again, I can uh, tell you uh, for sure that this wouldn't be exactly just a type. This is any sort of output. Maybe it would be a kind of a model. So we just copy this base command handler here. Insert barista handler implements base command handler. Okay, base command handler. What do we need? Uh, insert barista command. Okay, what would be our output? Is it a model or is it a, a key type value? We call it it was int, if you do remember, in barista. We have uh, spoken about the dominant entity and int. Okay, coming back here. So we have done for the first step of making our command handler. We just save it, going through the file in order to make it completed. Uh, I think we would better uh, uh, finalize this video here because it has uh, taken a long time for uh, recording it. Uh, I think we can continue to our process here in our next video. You know, it's uh, so much complicated. And please uh, uh, notice that insert barista command handler, uh, all the command handlers, I mean, uh, they have many vast uh, options 
and uh, we just here wanna make a simple sort of it and uh, in our next video we will see how to make a composition of commands so that it would run for our system and uh, our next step after making this file would be implemented in our controller thank you for watching us see you soon